Hello and welcome everybody to another Flight Sim Fan video. We're back in the F-18C Hornet, but this time it's actually going to be about all of DCS. I always get the question, how do I get my DCS looking so sharp and all the different colors and all that? And I always respond with reshade. And so this video is going to just show you what uh, reshade is and how to install it and how to use it. So to install reshade, a couple things need to happen. Is DCS has to be closed and uh, you have to have obviously an internet connection. So we're going to go to... Uh, Google Chrome. This is the link to Reshade. I'll put it in the description. And uh, also disclaimer: this works for pretty much almost any game. Uh, if you run P3D, it works for that as well. Uh, I believe it works in pretty much almost any game. So what you do is you're gonna hit the download button. It'll scroll you down to this uh, download link. You press download. You save it where you want to save it. I save mine to my desktop, and you press save. It'll start downloading like this. Now I already have one. Actually this is the new version. Uh, but what's going to happen is it's going to pop up on your desktop like this. Uh, this is the way I installed it. Um, I shall say that if you have VR this won't work for you. It won't change VR. It'll just change uh, your screen. So only for screens only. Uh, Non-VR. But reshade. So I'm going to double click that. <clears throat> Select game. This one's pretty important. So what we need to do is we need to go to our Local drive for me is my C drive, program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World, bin, and we're going to need this link right here, DCS, not the updater, just DCS like this. You say yes. And uh, I've selected DirectX uh, 10 Plus for me. Do you want to overwrite the existing installation? I'm going to say no because I don't want to do that, but you'd press yes. Uh, what's going to happen is it would ask you what type of uh, filters you would like to download. You just press yes. After you select DirectX 10, it'll start downloading. It'll say, would you like to install all the filters? You just press yes. That's the one I've done. And then it'll just say done. It'll say done right here. Where the select game would say, it says done there instead when you're done. It's very easy to install. Uh, so with that done, we're going to head into the sim. All right, so now we're back in the sim, and this is with Reshade on. Now we're going to try to, I'll show you what to do with uh, once Reshade is up and running. Also, um, when you start up the game first time, it might crash on you. You just have to restart it one more time. Uh, and also, if you, um, once it starts the game and it actually starts up, it'll start loading some filters in the top left. Don't worry about that. It'll have to do that every time. It, take, it gets a lot quicker if you have an SSD, but it'll just say loading filters, and it'll be at the very top left, just up in this corner right here, when you start in the DCS menu. After you jump in to open the menu, it's left shift F2. Mine's all set up already, but what's going to happen is, is um, this part, all these filters and this part right here would be, it, it wouldn't be here. It would just be at the home settings, statistics about, and uh, it'll have a drop down menu with nothing here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure on home, and then you're going to press the plus arrow. You can name a f whatever folder you want it to name, like uh, DCS. Press enter, and it would start a new one. And so this is how a new one looks. This is without reshade on. You can see the big difference. And I'll turn reshade on right now. So this is reshade off, reshade on, reshade off, reshade on. It's a massive difference. It makes everything look a lot nicer. Um, I actually, it looks beautiful when, uh, if you don't have reshade, you're like, wow, this game looks amazing. You use reshade and it just look, makes it look everything makes everything look so much nicer. So what I have set, I'll show you my settings. What I have set, the first one is going to be, I'll just go on mine that I have. So the first one I have is Adaptive Sharpen. So that's what it does. Look how much sharper. I like very sharp because my monitor is not that sharp. So it might look extra sharp on your monitor, but it, it all depends on your monitor. Uh, Clarity is the next one. So you can see on the switches here what it does. Color, Fullness. And then we have uh, HDR, mode one, I'll leave that off, mode two, so with them both on you get extra sharp, <laughs> and then Luma Sharpen, and last one is Vibrance. Then you'd select done or finish down here, and you'd be set up, and it should save your settings the whole time. And uh, it's, it's, it'll be just normal. So you open DCS, and it'll be it'll open like this, 
you so you select your plane, everything's done. It'll just open like this. You don't have to configure anything. It'll just be done like this. So that's reshade. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any problems, uh, give me a comment. I'll try to help out. I I didn't make reshades, so I'll try my best. I'll try to troubleshoot for you. And um, yeah, so if you don't use it if you have VR. And uh, I selected DirectX 10 uh, Plus for me, and that one worked. If you don't have DirectX 10 or if you have DirectX 9 or whatever like that, um, some files could get ruined. and uh, Not ruined, but you'll have to delete some files if it doesn't work. And uh, you can run a repair as well for DCS, but uh, I haven't really heard of too many issues. I've helped five, four or five squad mates now with it, and uh, one of them had a problem. They just deleted it, and it, the game came back. Uh, but the other four have uh, have used it, and it's works perfectly for them. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.